Hey folks, welcome to Fresh Produce, I'm Pete from BTI. I've got a really cool video lined up for today. We have a special guest, Calvin from Park Tool, on a Zoom call with us, and we wanna talk about a brand new tool they're just rolling out, so let's dive right in. Calvin, thanks so much for joining us. I really appreciate your time. Well, thanks for, for having me here on our, our fresh product day. And we are roll, we're rolling in, rolling into goodness with our uh, new tool, uh, the TH3. Well, it's a, a tap handle. It's gonna hold taps and it's gonna hold bits both. It uses the power, uh, power of magnetism. It's got that animal magnetism going for it. Fun fact. Fun fact, check out the diameter of this. It's gonna be the same diameter as your BSA threading. Does that look familiar? That's the same as a bottom bracket cup, a threaded bottom bracket, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, just a fun fun fact. And two-sided. Two-sided, two different functions. Yeah, exactly. So like you just mentioned, the driver, a bit driver, a hex bit driver on one side, and then the square quarter inch tap on the other side, right? We've got a, uh, a tap, the smaller taps, it's a square fitting. And you're gonna see there's a nice little set screw here. You take your two millimeter hex wrench and you loosen and tighten to install the tap. So this, this tap, this is your M5. We're gonna show you this one, but what else does it hold? It holds that little bitty M3, M3, what M3? Little teeny accessories. You'll see these on some of those little small accessories. It'll hold an M4, that's your limit screws. M5, all over the place, those tricky bottle cage bolts. It'll hold your M6, you're seeing more and more. Hey, brakes, you'll see that. Uh, you'll see it on some accessories. And all the way up to a quarter inch thread, quarter by 20. Some people say the thread that built America, the quarter 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but why why do that? We, this is our third one. Well, we do have other ones. This is your standard tap handle. Look, you hold it even. It's nice leverage. It's all good. Okay, I'm going to give it a try here in my bad threads. You know, that blows. That, no, it's a pain. Exactly. It just doesn't fit in spaces. Yeah. On this bike, I had one bolt that's good. This bolt does not go in. End. There's a problem with the fitting. So now I'm taking my GH3. I'm gonna install it in here. I can use a finger on top to help center. And I'm cutting and clearing, backing up, cutting, 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 cleaning out those threads without taking everything apart. So think of suspension places, think of racks and luggages and all those weird accessories you have. This lets you get in there. So now, now I ran it in, ran it out. My threads are good. Yeah, you're you're already done with the job there in 30 seconds. So this is a this is a time saver for a shop. I think is a really important point. It is. But then I take it out, and there's more. That is a hex fitting. It's a quarter inch hex fitting, and there are bits. You got the QTH, of course, from BTI. <laughs> of this course. tool comes with the whole set of them. Also, you got from BTI your ATD, at the back end of that thing, whoa, more bits. All those bits are the same size. So let's take our four millimeter. Magnetism, it holds it in. You got it. Don't even need to use the, the set screw on that one. That's right. Then I'm going in here and I'm coming in. And in it goes, in it goes, down, 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 and tight. You're done. There we are. We're done. So, yeah. bing, you can put it on your uh, your pegboard stud, bam, it's right there, it stays put. So that's the, the TCH, it's a TH3. It's a fun little time saver, saving you valuable seconds. Exactly, yeah, and I think this is gonna save valuable seconds for shops in all kinds of different jobs. And also, uh, I mean, it could just be a comfortable tool to use if a, mm -hmm. a, a wrench, a mechanic is doing some really repetitive job. That is a nice, comfortable, yeah. Way to hold, um, you know, you're going to be able to get your hand around it to get some leverage as needed. So super knurling. well made, really well thought out. Yeah. Do the knurling there? Everyone check out that nice knurling. Oh, absolutely. Made downstairs, made downstairs on our Haas lathes. Cool. Yeah. Really important point here. 
These are not shipped all around the world. These are made here. So that's a great addition. So Calvin, thanks so much for talking us through this tool. I do, I think it's gonna fly under the radar for so many folks, but I think it's inexpensive and a really great ad for so many shops out there. Even for home mechanics, um, it could be a, a nice one to add to a small toolbox, even a travel toolbox to save a bunch of space there. So really cool, cool idea and great you guys brought this out. Now I also just wanna have just a moment talk about um, another tool that I saw coming out. It's the Trailhead Workstation. And it's, it's a pretty basic tool or, you know, kit of tools. It's tire levers, hex wrenches, pedal wrench, but everything's steel cabled up. So it kind of gives a shop an opportunity to put this thing outside their door if they were near a trailhead, maybe. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I think the real idea is actually having it at a trailhead. So if a shop is sponsoring a trail or, or you know, doing some trailhead work, that could be a great addition to, uh, you know, allow people to get their bike ready to roll before they're, you know, out there on the trail. I would agree. So the Trailhead Station, uh, it has a nice place to hold your bike. That's the number one thing. That's the other important one, yeah. Your sunscreen, you're drinking your water. It's just a nice place to hold your bike. But going, going back to the shop, you could put it outside the shop. You're going to get the benefit. But this is a nice way to connect with your community. That's it. So if you're going to donate or put one of these up in, say, a city park that's got some single track, or it's a bike path, commuter bike path at an intersection that sees a lot of traffic, don't be shy. Get to a sign maker and get a plaque on the front. Joe's Fried Chicken and, and Bikes. <laughs> put your name up there. Put put a QR code. Brag about yourself because it's a it would be you're sharing it with the community. Uh, you exactly. can also get those spare parts, and we are trusting in people to uh, to to leave stuff there. That's true, but uh, for the most part, we found that generally people do. Yeah, these are these are pretty simple tools, so I don't think people are going to be as motivated to steal a screwdriver or a hex wrench the way you might for other things. But um, it is steel cabled up, so adding some security. The there. community outreach, even if they roll by and go, oh. That's good. I yeah. could use yeah. that. All right. Or, or hey, I don't know how to use any of these tools. I better go to that shop. <laughs> exactly. Well, I didn't mean to turn it that way. I better go to <laughs> check the QR code. That's I'm it. going. That's use it to reach out to your community. Yeah, I love that idea. I'm glad that you're offering that opportunity to uh, shops to, to connect with communities all around the country out there. So thanks for that. All right, that's really all we've got today. I think this is simple and straightforward, but really highlights this uh, unique and really cool new tool. So thanks for making it. Thanks for telling us about it. Um, yeah, appreciate your time. Thanks, thanks for having us here. We'll hope to see you again. I'm showing you some fresh product. Oh yeah. All right, if you wanna grab the new Park Tool TH3, uh, make sure you check at your local bike shop and tell them BTI sent you. And we hope all shops will grab this too. I think it's a really quick, useful tool for all those uh, thorough quality repairs out there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.